My name is Dr. William Fabian. I'm a gastroenterologist here at Mayo Clinic and I'm the director of the Pediatric Inflammatory Bowel Disease Clinic. Um, our clinic here uh, has been running since 2007, the, the Pediatric IBD Center, and our focus in the center is to really take care of um, children with inflammatory bowel disease and their families. And really the reason that we wanted to pull together um, a, a more holistic center approach to, to the management of pediatric inflammatory bowel disease is because we feel as though in developing patients there are issues that are important um, to children and adolescents that are less so important um, in our adult onset population. Um, particular issues would be bone and growth, uh, incredibly important. Um, the nutritional aspects of inflammatory bowel disease, also incredibly important. And also some unique family stressors that might be present when you have young onset inflammatory bowel disease rather than older onset inflammatory bowel disease. So here at the clinic we uh, routinely see patients with um, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis uh, and see them in conjunction with our pediatric inflammatory bowel disease dietitians as well as our bone and growth experts. Um, we have uh, a multitude of expertise at the clinic um, that's unique, we think, here, including our um, imaging center, uh, where we're very interested in the advancement of non-ionizing radiation and um, uh, methodology to image inflammatory bowel disease. Um, in particular our MR enterography expertise. And then we also have a very close working relationship with our colorectal surgical group. So we have um, several different pediatric surgeons with a focus in the management of inflammatory bowel disease um, from uh, anything as varied as minimally invasive surgery, so laparoscopic approach to um, uh, sometimes surgical resections that patients require, or the concomitant management with us with penetrating perianal disease, which can be a big problem and we believe uh, is a problem that should be best addressed by both the surgeon as well as the, uh, the medical doctor. So the types of patients we see here are young onset patients, anywhere from under two years old all the way up through high school. Um, I'm, I'm particularly trained both in adults and children, so I really enjoy that transitional period where um, uh, high school students are transitioning on to either their first jobs or college, and they have many questions unique to somebody that sees adult patients. Um, what types of medications can I be on in college? What types of things are present in the dorm room? Um, how's my insurance going to work out? Uh, I'm going to college in, in, in the Northeast. What does that mean to me? Um, uh, who should I see? Um, how often do I need to come back? Those types of issues that we deal with all the time in a, in a transitional type clinic like this. Um, so we see young onset patients with inflammatory bowel disease and their families. Um, inflammatory bowel disease in children is a bit unique, I think, um, other than the, the types of, of, of pediatric-centric issues that we're focused on, like growth and nutrition. Um, there are studies now that show that perhaps young onset disease presents in a more florid fashion, so more extensive disease. Um, young onset patients suffering with um, earlier sequelae of surgery, for example. So I think the young onset patient is a unique patient um, and uh, it requires subspecialized care in our opinion. Um, many times the diagnosis can be tough to make, so we do see some second and third opinion referrals sometimes for patients that have um, uh, common symptoms like weight loss, fatigue, pain, etc., but uncommon findings. Um, and I think in some, in some cases we've been quite helpful to those patients and their families. So, um, so we see uh, young onset patients, we see patients with complicated disease that were referred to uh, from the area because we're also, we're also interested in clinical trials. Um, the usual gamut of medications that, uh, that that patients with inflammatory bowel disease receive would be uh, medicines such as 5-amino salicylates, and there are a variety of different medications out there um, using the basic same chem chemical structure of 5-ASA. Um, so uh, those medications are used commonly. Medicines such as thiopurines are used commonly to treat inflammatory bowel disease. Um, older medications such as, such as methotrexate commonly used to treat inflammatory bowel disease. And then some of the newer biologic therapies, some of the new anti-TNF therapies that are on the market are used commonly to treat inflammatory bowel disease. But when those things fail, uh, sometimes we get referrals for patients that need to be on complex concomitant or complex um, uh, uh, 
dual usage of medications, um, or sometimes clinical trials. And that's something that we've also built here at the clinic. So obviously in partnership with our adult counterparts, which is a, uh, a world-recognized um, uh, inflammatory bowel disease clinical trial center, we are now running uh, four different clinical trials as well in young onset disease. So we're very interested in, uh, in the opportunity to add novel therapeutics to children that have otherwise refractory disease, or also we're interested in, in a variety of different registries. So what are registries? Um, we've partnered with, um, with numerous other experts, both in the U.S. as well as Canada, in, um, in large-scale registries to, to, to try to understand uh, what's different about the young onset patient. Are there any unique risks to medications with the young onset patient? What happens to the young onset patient in 10 to 20 years? Those answers, surprisingly, are really hard to find in the literature. So developing um, registries where when we diagnose a patient within a few months of their d disease and then follow them over the course of 5 years, 10 years, or 20 years, those questions will be, will be answered um, as to, as to um, what the long-term natural history of young onset disease is. So what we offer patients um, uh, here at the clinic is a holistic approach to their disease, dealing with the families, dealing with their bone and growth um, uh, aspects to their disease. We offer uh, standard therapy as well as some novel therapies in clinical trials. And we offer unique um, aspects to the approach of imaging in the disease and also um, I think uh, very cutting edge surgical expertise as well with minimally invasive surgery. So those are the types of things that we offer uh, uh, here at the Pediatric Inflammatory Bowel Disease Group.